Hey girlies, welcome or welcome back to the Imani Forrester channel. As you know, Imani Forrester is the author of 30 Reasons Why Men Deserve Nothing, which you can find in the description box below. I'm Shanice, and y'all, did you see that clip from one of those Pop the Balloon shows? The moment the male contestant mentions that he's Christian and conservative, the ladies couldn't pop their balloons fast enough. No hesitation. Check out this video, and then I'll come back with my own commentary. But tell me, what are some of those red flags? They have strong values. Uh, I'm Republican. Conservative, uh, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. Uh, we did have some broken hearts, so let's go right down and... Now, here's another Fafo moment. Just last month, a bunch of XYs were mocking women for being 4B or for refusing to date males who lean right. Well, Fafo is the gift that keeps on giving because those same men are now out here still looking for partners, and no woman wants to touch them with a 10-foot pole. Look at this guy, all shocked that women don't want to date someone who doesn't see them as full human beings. Women don't want to sign up for a real-life handmaid's tale. And somehow that's surprising to him? Of course women aren't lining up to partner with someone who'd vote away their rights. Or worse, someone they might not even be able to leave if things go south, since no-fault divorce is also on the chopping block. This isn't just a preference for women. These dudes are so disconnected from reality, it's almost laughable. But I'll give him this. At least he's honest. That's more than we can say for the MAGA and heavily conservative men who are lying to women because they know how unappealing they are right now. Anyways, I want to show you all some reactions before I get into some more commentary. Because I wasn't the only one who found this super amusing. Tell me, what are some of those red flags? They have strong values. Uh, I'm Republican. Conservative, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. A few weeks ago, I did a video about a man who admitted to lying to women because he's a Republican and he's a conservative, but he said he prefers liberal women. He says, I just lie to them and I basically tell them that I'm not that into politics. And I advise women not to take that as an answer because this is how women end up in a situation like we had just last month where women were saying that their man was canceling out their vote. The reason why conservative men are having the hardest time dating right now is because we know that a lot of you want the little woman at home, barefoot pregnant, cooking and cleaning, and not saying a word about anything. And when a man is talking about how he wants a Christian woman, he's really only talking about one scripture, and he's talking about submission. Women can read between the lines. We know what you really mean when you say you want a woman with good values. We know which values you're talking about, and it's usually some cooking and some cleaning. When a man says he's looking for a hard-working woman, we know that really means you want a mule who will split bills with you. When a man says he's looking for a woman to build with, that means he doesn't have his life together and he needs your help. When a man complains about women being materialistic, that's usually because he's approaching women without the material. When he wishes women would go back to the olden days, he means the days when you couldn't vote and when you had no say. We hear what you're saying, but we know what you mean. You can use all the pretty words that you want, all of the buzzwords you think women want to hear, but at the end of the day, we know that you're putting lipstick on a pig. And before you curl your lips and say they don't make women like they used to, just know that a lot of us see that as the biggest compliment. Okay, so Nick Jensen says, when I hear conservative Christian, I think egg apron. Nicolette says, there are ways to figure out if they are conservative without asking. This is true. Dina Nova says, there are women like this, conservative, wanting to be mothers and housewives. Can't they just go for them? And we'll come back to this. Bob Yeti says, the shocked Pikachu face, priceless. Capricorn says, it's now code for controlling and abusive. Honey Tiger says, apolitical is a red flag. Absolutely. Taisha Max says, I don't think our grandmothers wanted to be treated like that. They just tolerated it. And Sister Locked and Loaded says, we are not our grandmothers. Caramel says, the shock on his face. Disco Lemonade says, if a man has no political preference, moderate or conservative, it's an instant pass. V says, what bothers me the most is that there's so many women who fit their values, but they don't want them. They want to tame a liberal. Again, we'll come back to this. So Lisa says, former trad wife here, if you don't pop your balloon, I'll pop it for you. Give me that dang pin. And yeah, there are former trad wives who are out there warning young women who are unmarried against going that route. They've done it and it's not as glamorous as it's made out to be. Slightly Perfect says, we hear what you're saying and we know what you mean. That got me. Pure Energy says, the look of his soul being crushed. Chef's kiss. This comment says, not that into politics means that they are either lying or uneducated about them. Neither is something that I want in a partner. Exactly. And this is the last comment I'm gonna read. I always take I'm not into politics as I have very right-leaning views, but I don't want to talk about them because I know you wouldn't be here if I told you that. I'm Republican. Conservative, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. <laughs> Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. 
Ouch. But I'm not actually surprised by it. Conservative, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. <laughs> It said, no, thank you, sir. Keep that shit to yourself. Oh. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. As an atheist religion criticism, I'm proud of you, ladies. Republican. Conservative, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, one second. <clears throat> Keep your head up, dude. I mean, there's a girl out there for you. It's just none of them. <laughs> none of them. <laughs> uh, I'm Republican. Conservative, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. They said no. I don't want to be in the handsmaid's tail, and that is a hundred percent valid. Conservative, yeah. Conservative values, Christian values. Okay. Very important. Okay. When are these white men? And are just men in general going to understand that women are not interested in your patriarchy anymore. Women have fought long and hard in this country for decades, for a century and plus in some cases, just the right to, to, to be an equal in society. And what has happened over the last 40 years? You've got evangelical extremism now wanting to strip away women's rights to their body, which they've accomplished in some places. They want to take away their right to vote. They want to, they, they don't want them to have control of their finances, no fault divorces. What, what did you expect was going to happen when you walked up to women and started talking about your Christian value? Because the first thing that pops into their head is you've all, people like you took away my right to my body. You, you're out, your men, you men right now are out here running around in this country talking about your body, you know, your body, my choice. So you have, first off, you, you, you clearly have demonstrated that you do not respect women, that you think women are beneath you, that they need to fall in line and know their place. And women have fought too hard to get to where they're at now. Me and my wife have been together 10 years. Thick through thin, up and down, and all the way around, me and her have done everything together because I treat her like an equal and she treats me like an equal. And, and somebody be like, so there's really no, no, there's no really head of the household. Now my wife knows if the shit hits the fan, I'm the one that opens the door. But my wife, I also know that my wife's going to make sure my boys are okay while I'm handling business. I don't treat my wife as a second-class citizen. When you tell a woman that you have Christian values, that's what you're telling them. Oh, I'm going to treat you like second class. You're going to know your place. Get in there and make me a sandwich. And your money's my money. Your independence, I'm taking away. You're going to know your place. Women ain't interested in that shit no more. They don't fought too hard. And they're going to be damned they're going to let a man destroy what they have fought so hard to get and keep. God damn when these fucking idiots gonna start thinking with their heads on their shoulders. Y'all stay awesome, be excellent, be better human beings. Christian values, okay. very important. Okay. Uh, I just want to give every single one of those women a big hug, and I want to take them out to lunch. I want to take them to get their hair and nails done. Maybe I just want to spoil them because they popped that fucking balloon and said goodbye to the Handmaid's Tale, and I couldn't be more proud to have watched these women shut that man's ego down. I mean, did you see the way he's standing? Uh, 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 oh. oh, they popped their balloons. They don't want me. Duh. The fuck? I want to highlight something about this clip, though. It doesn't show what happened after the fact. I was curious, so I went digging. Turns out there was a Christian conservative woman in the lineup who hadn't popped her balloon. Let me play this for you because what happens next is so telling. Uh, I'm not going to rush anything. We're just going to go for a few more essentials. Um, I have to ask this just in case. Is he someone that is your type? Yeah, you are someone that is my type. You're tall. And I think what mainly got to me was your faith is just knowing that you do have your belief in God, because ultimately I'm searching for a God-fearing man that is going to lead in the relationship and foundation of the Lord. And that's something that I live my life on. So it caught me there. And so my question in that aspect is, do you actually actively go to church and you pursue God? Great, great question. She's breaking it down. You know? Yes. Yes, I actually do go to church. And uh, 
Do you have any favorite pastors you could mention? Um, aside from Jack Hibbs and Raul Reese, who's actually the two pastors that my current pastor is Jack Hibbs. Um, but I would say I like to listen to Chuck Smith, which is like foundational for all of us that go to Calvary's. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Excellent. Does that work for you? Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. It's, you know, this town can be a very lonely town mm -hmm. and, uh, Gosh, faith is so important. And that's why we did conservative a real one. That's why we wanted yeah. we wanted this, because it, it gets lonely. Uh, at any rate, now, is she someone that's your type? I'm assuming yes by the smile, but yeah. Unfortunately, she's not my type. Hmm. Fortunately. Uh, so do I need to, uh, can I take your, well, oh, I'll, you know, I want you to hold on. Wait, so does that mean you need to break a heart? I guess I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa, I'll break it because <laughs> she's not breaking her. You got to break it. Okay, now tell us, tell us why you broke your heart. Um, I just well, remember when people were clowning liberal women for being extremely picky about their partner's political leanings or for going fully 4B? Back then, MAGA women were saying, more men for us. They weren't worried claiming they'd have their pick of males since liberal women were opting out. Funny how that worked out. They should have been perfect for each other. They share the same values, the same worldview. So why didn't he choose her? And though most of them would never say this out loud, could it be that patriarchy thrives on domination? And that part of the appeal for these males is conquering an unwilling party, getting someone driven, ambitious, and full of spark to submit? A woman who's already clipped her wings and stuffed herself in a cage isn't as much fun to dominate. Is she? Why is it that conservative traditional men look for strong, independent women who are progressive and liberal. This is from Trevor Noah's book, Born a Crime. The way my mother always explained it, the traditional man wants a woman to be subservient, but he never falls in love with subservient women. He's attracted to independent women. He's like an exotic bird collector, she said. He only wants a woman who is free because his dream is to put her in a cage. Patriarchy is all about dominance. To dominate something or someone is to fulfill the highest order of patriarchy. To be a man means you have dominated, you've won, you've controlled someone or something. And it, especially for Christian men who are taught that to save someone, to convert them, to save them from themselves is glorifying God. And, and most young boys are conditioned to have this dream of saving the damsel in distress. I will save her from the dragon. I will slay the dragon and rescue the princess and she'll love me forever. And her dragon is herself. I need to change her and save her from her liberal, dangerous ideas. And, and there's an intersectionality to this too. I mean, patriarchy loves dominance. Christianity loves converting people and changing them, even if it's against their will. Uh, white saviorism, whiteness loves saving people. And, and men just love being above women. They, they love a woman who needs them, who's, who's dependent on them to be this big, strong man. So in, instead of finding someone to date and marry that you are compatible with or that you work well with and pair well with, men will go out and find women that they can change. And, and they need to be incompatible with them so that they can capture them and get them under the rule and control. Which is why you hear these stories of strong, independent women who find themselves, wait, I never wanted to get married. How am I I never wanted to have kids. Why do I have, why do I have, oh my gosh, who is my husband? Why is he listening to Jordan Peterson all the time? It's because he lied to you. Because he needed to dominate you. He needed to win you and convert you to patriarchy. I guess that's the game that a lot of men are playing. And that's what it means for men to win that game.
Good on those women for popping their balloons and staying far away from the hellscape this relationship would have been. As I said in my last video, settling with a male right now can quite literally ruin or even end your life. Settling is not an option in 2024. If you're not 4B and are still considering a partnership with a male, you'd better make damn sure he's everything you want and more. Anything less is not worth it. And good men? understand this. But the current male loneliness epidemic was hard. Congratulations. Women are never going to speak to men or give us the time of day ever again. Women are going to find new and creative ways to defend themselves against us. 4B movement is entry level shit for women. They can do that in their sleep. Let's talk about American culture and the Second Amendment specifically. Because in America, the Second Amendment isn't just about firearms. Yeah, sure, the Founding Fathers said that because they're men and they're obsessed with hardware. But the Second Amendment is actually the human right to be able to defend oneself against tyranny. And then in overwhelming numbers this week, we said, Hey, ladies, we're gonna tyrannize ya. And what do you think is gonna happen next as we're backing women into a corner, treating them like prey animals? They're going to reach for whatever weapon is available to them. They're going to turn our lust, our desire to control, our desire to objectify, they're going to turn it around right against us. And we're gonna deserve it all, but what happens next? The male loneliness epidemic is gonna get worse. Red pill ideology is gonna get worse. Incel culture is gonna get worse. Domestic terrorism is going to get worse as more and more disenfranchised young men feel disconnected from society because of the disconnection we just created. Mark my words, men voting against women this election just created the next generation of domestic terrorists. I know, dating's definitely gonna get harder. But while you're worried about that, they're worried about their government forcing them to carry their date rape baby to term, therefore inextricably and forever legally linking them to their abuser. It's kind of a difference! A lot of men are seeing women delete their dating apps. What they're not seeing is that they're deleting them because they're busy coming up with emergency action plans with their friends. They're busy researching what neighboring states would take them in. I'm like, a vote for Harris? Awesome. But that's a minimum. That's a prerequisite. That's table stakes. You need that before you can even approach now. A vote for Harris gets you maybe a high. You gotta understand, it's just not worth it for women anymore. The risk to reward ratio is not there. The type of climate we're in now means that every single decision that women make is critical. It can actually alter alter the course of their entire lives. Because just choosing to give you the time of day, just choosing to go on a date with you, could start a chain of events that literally ruins her life in a way that she can't escape because the government is backing it. So if you want a date in the modern world, you have to be worth it. That's all I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you there.